Hi, I'm Jack Campfield, and I'm thrilled to have you join me on this exciting new adventure. Now, you might know me from having created and co-authored the best-selling Chicken Soup for the Soul book series, or perhaps from my book, The Success Principles, or maybe as a featured teacher in the book and the movie, The Secret. In the Jack Canfield podcast, we dive deep into the world of personal growth and inner awakening. I'm going to be sharing with you both time-tested as well as cutting-edge breakthrough principles that high achievers and successful people in every field of endeavor use to create breakthrough results in all areas of our lives. Now, I'll be speaking with some amazing guests some of you may have heard about and read about but not had access to, like Jerick Robbins. What does an ideal day look like in your life now? Now, some people dream of like, oh, I would travel and I'd go do these things. No, I had a bigger vision for when I get healthy and when I feel good, all the things I want to do and be and experience and create and give and share and have and all those things. But in this moment, what could I control in this moment to make this day an ideal day? And Marie Forleo, New York Times bestselling author and inspiration to millions. How did you get to that place where you, where you changed it from, wait a second, I am enough and I'm going to decide what enough is. How did you do that? I don't do overwhelm. And the moment I registered that simple phrase and I actually said it internally, I don't do overwhelm. I felt this incredible weight lifted off my shoulders. I felt like my chest could breathe. I felt like I saw a new possibility for a new way of life. And I'm not kidding you. From that moment on, I was like, I don't do overwhelm. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be something I even entertain. And transformational specialist Heidi Powell. I know you've gone through one of the most challenging periods of your life in the last five or six months, and you've been having some very important breakthrough insights and revelations. I, I already felt like I had a knowing inside of me that certain parts of me needed to die so that I can be, re something could be born again, right? Or something new could emerge. And I kept pushing it off because allowing certain parts of me to die with whether it's the notoriety, the significance, the business, the everything I had my worthiness in, or I thought my worthiness was in, letting go of that to create space was super scary for me. We'll be delving into many more aspects of how to create and sustain a happy and fulfilling life how to maximize and experience the expression of your full potential, and how to successfully navigate this ever-changing, ever-evolving world. The Jack Canfield Podcast, available wherever you do podcasts.